be it a contemporary art installation or a sculpture inspired by Islamic signs, art has the power to redefine a city and its urban experience. Just tell me about the, the restoring of these old buildings because it's absolutely marvellous. The woman at the centre of all of this is Sheikha Khor al Qasimi, a quiet storm that's placed the sleepy Emirate of Sharjah on the art map globally, helping to make her one of the most influential voices in her field. Well, a lot of the international museums come to our biennial. So if you go to Tate Modern, you'll see uh, Marwan Rashmawi's work, you'll see Sharif Waqid's work, all from past biennials. Uh, Naim Mohaiman's work is now shortlisted for the Turner Prize. The Foundation's flagship event, the Sharjah Biennale, is among the Middle East's largest contemporary art gatherings. With the previous edition attracting 200,000 visitors and touring to faraway places like Senegal. I've been known to like every city I go to <laughs> and fall in love with every city I go to. Uh, we're in Hamriya now, it's another part of Sharjah. The Emirati royal's passion for the arts has taken her all over the world, cultivating an international mindset. This is a work by Rola Halawani, Palestinian artist. One that caused some friction with the old guard after she took over the reins of the Biennale back in the early 2000s. They used the old uh, Venice pavilion in style with country representation. And I said, well, nobody's from one country anymore. You can't, you can't categorize people in that way. So we need to, to change this. So I was making a lot of changes. And the rest of the committee, who are mainly artists, decided six months before the opening that they quit. And I work 20 hours a day, seven days a week. We were such a small team. I was sweeping the floor the morning of the opening. I was sticking labels. I was hanging. And I did get some looks from some people like, you're the, you're the daughter of the ruler and you're sweeping the floor. But the Charger Art Foundation extends well beyond the Biennale, hosting about 10 exhibitions each year and recently showcasing the work of the British artist Frank Bolin, who made a name for himself in the 1960s. The exhibition is called Mapa Mundi, so it's looking at his maps and migration, and it's also about the slave trade. But at the same time, his journey from Guyana to London to the US. This is an amazing space. We haven't had any artists who we've said, sorry, you can't show this because it's you know, sexual or pornographic. We're more interested in politics. We're interested in questioning things that are happening around us. A passion that very much defines this royal force within the art world and one she wants to share with others.